in the news we are covering tonight, a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico pummeling the Florida coastline. Not notable for its power as much as its size and its slow meandering track. Tropical storm Debbie has dumped 10 inches of rain in the panhandle in just over 24 hours. 20 counties have been declared disaster areas and the governor has called up the National Guard to help. Our report from NBC's Gary Sanders. Tropical Storm Debbie is now soaking parts of the Florida panhandle with up to five inches of rain an hour. The U.S. Coast Guard rescued a family of nine and two dogs stranded in a vacation house on a small island near Apalachicola. You are panicking. You're all right. right. And there have been at least three reported tornadoes. In Venus, Florida, a 32-year-old mother died but saved her three-year-old daughter as she cradled the girl in her protective arms. About 400 yards of non-existent road. In Pasco County, some flooded roads are closed. And homeowners are sandbagging as fast as they can. As those waters recede in other areas, sinkholes have started to open. Thank God it didn't happen while we were here. And, uh, but it's still emotional. In Elfers, Florida, the Anclo River swelled its banks. Fun for some kids, but not for lifelong resident Barry Huff. I'm concerned about snakes, as I know you are. What do you need to do now for your property? Anything, or is it too late? <laughs> too late. Tropical Storm Debbie has hammered more than 300 miles of Florida. 50 mile an hour gusts have knocked out power to more than 35,000 residents and forced the evacuation of 600 inmates from a jail in Pensacola. And tonight, in Florida and southern Georgia, there are warnings to expect more of the same. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, 